Come watch as I clean the bathroom of the owner's suite in preparation for my family to move into our rental home. And there's the mop water from yesterday. Today we're going to clean out our big foam pit. First thing we do is all jump in and start moving blocks. Catherine there finds a shoe, size 7, find myself a penny, a retainer, who leaves a retainer back? And I find the other shoe, got ourselves a set, this visor to a helmet, and then we find another shoe. How do you lose so many shoes in a foam pit? Tyler, I find her pass, and then this bike tool thing, which was pretty cool. this off even some days i'm wrong pain has made me lot age is all i got the flame isn't really hot taking all my spot the rage is always on top and take it when i'm lost so i tried to get my head straight used to be like yes me but friends just turned the dead way don't look back at them deadly yeah i know my destiny's in front of me growing up from a hundred seeds i must survive it's a human need to make it to the Time to get rid of the hard water stains. No, that's not urine. Our wells from 1947. So we're going to tackle these stains with our trusty barkeeper's friend. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes. That's why it turned white. And now I'm scrubbing it clean. Once I scrub it, I also let it sit for just a few minutes before I flush it. And it looks good new. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I like to clean my brushes. We're gonna be using my steel skin cleansing device and some soap. What I like to do is wet the brush beforehand, get some soap on it, and rub it off on the steel skin cleansing device. There's a vibrating option, which kind of breaks down the makeup even better and quicker, bitch. I'm a fan of anything that makes cleaning easier, so I had to share with you guys. Welcome back to the series where I clean my in-laws house. This is a before shot of the basement that I've been working on in the previous TikToks. Today we are going to do this base sink in the laundry room that clearly hasn't been cleaned in probably forever and I've been promising you guys I'd show you me cleaning it. This is the first thing that we've cleaned out in the basement that I actually had to put on a mask because the odor was so strong I was getting sick. So I started by just scrubbing it with something that got away like 
lime and grease and stuff because this dirt that you're seeing is not just dirt it is like slimy muddy type mud So this was after the first scrub, don't worry, I do about four more. This was after the second scrub, this was after the third scrub, and I figured I could get a little bit more of that dirt off, so I did another fifth scrub and really put my back into it. And this is what happened after that. So I wasn't done yet, I covered it with powder bleach, and this was only one side of the sink. While it was setting, I did the other side. The other side was definitely not as bad, so I only had to do one really good scrub. And then of course I put bleach on the other side as well. Once I had let that sit for a little while, I just got to scrubbing and I really put my elbow into this. I scrubbed as hard as I possibly could. They don't really use the sink, but I felt like it needed to be cleaned just for me to feel like I had done a good job in the basement. So that's why I spent time cleaning it. And just for a reminder, this was the before and then this was the after. Next time, I promise I'll tackle this window that I have been dreading, and follow and like for more videos on me cleaning this basement and other parts of my in-law's house.